three, two. Yeah! Yeah! Fantastic! This is Learning with Leland. Hi, I'm Dr. Leland Ellison. I'm a physicist here at Lawrence Livermore National Lab. You might remember me from such films as watch a physicist play with a fidget spinner for the first time. Well, there's my power pose. Today, we're going to be investigating some physics of everyday life. In particular, we're going to be answering the age-old question, how do I put on a swim cap without using my hands? Now, when we're conducting an experiment, the first step is always safety. So first, I need my personal protective equipment. This mitigates the drowning hazard. And this will protect my eyes. Now, step two is also very important. It's to put on our thinking cap. Three, two. Pretty close though. Three, two. Yeah! 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 Fantastic! So the hands-free technique for applying the swim cap was overall a raging success. Let's think a bit about what it takes to put a swim cap on. The swim cap is an elastic sort of rubber material, and I sort of think of this like a mesh of tiny little springs connected to each other. We need to apply some force to stretch those springs out, and then we're gonna extend it over our head. Now the springs are trying to compress and relax the swim cap back to its natural resting state. Uh, so we need some force to counteract that recoiling mechanism. Normally we apply that force with our hands, but this time we used the flowing of water, uh, which we got by giving it some gravitational potential energy and then releasing it. And the rubber didn't have enough force to keep the water from flowing down. So when the cap hits a high point on my head, the water flows smoothly around and it pressed on the cap relatively seamlessly. So one of the interesting aspects about this to me is to figure out what conditions are necessary in order for this to work. Certainly I think centering is a really important variable. If you drop the swim cap over on the side of my head, it's never going to center itself and roll on smoothly. Oh, this is fantastic. So we can really see that the point of impact is not centered on my head. The swim cap is not as round as when you're first holding it. It's actually fairly pointy, and the point of the swim cap is not even on my head. So this was really a glancing blow sort of application. If you were just to rest the swim cap over your head with water in it and let it go, that this would not work, that the restorative force of the rubber is going to try and keep the swim cap together, and it's gonna preferentially just roll to one side or another rather than smoothly roll on. This has been Learning with Leland. Chocolate sauce? Hmm, I wonder how much more reliable it would be with water versus chocolate sauce. I'm not really going to be able to work in the afternoon with chocolate sauce all over my head.